All right, guys, today we're going to be unboxing the M2 MacBook Pro. Uh, this here is the new 14 inch model. I have the silver color, uh, and this is the latest iteration of what I consider to be the best MacBook of all time. Uh, I am, of course, referring to none other than last year's M1 Pro. Uh, I also have the 14 inch version here, and I recently actually did a long term review of this computer. Uh, really enjoy using it every day, uh, and I'm excited to see where the M2 Pro will stack up uh, to see if it is a worthy upgrade so anyway guys uh, as always i will leave the purchase links down in the description and without further ado let's get started with the unboxing all right so this time compared to last year uh, we actually have no plastic on the packaging instead we have two very big pull tabs uh, while i open the box here let me tell you about my spec there we go oh, very satisfying those big pull tabs uh, so i decided to go for the 14 inch model uh, in silver as you can see and um I decided to go for the 14 inch model as I find this to be the best of both worlds uh, in terms of portability uh, as well as usability as the 14 inch uh, screen size is really a lot nicer than the previous 13 inch uh, but still portable enough uh, compared to the larger 16 inch which when you're traveling often can get a little bit big. So here we go, this is the MacBook right here. Uh, so I decided to go for the silver color as if you've seen my recent review uh, of this computer or of the uh, last, com uh, last model, the M1 Pro model, you'll know that the uh, silver model actually holds up better over time as the space gray model, uh, in my experience, does experience or does get some color fade after extensive use. And you won't see that with the silver color because the silver color uh, is much closer to the natural color of the aluminum. Uh, so this is definitely something to think about if you're picking between the silver or the space gray. And here it is guys, wow, this feels uh, very familiar. In fact, in the hand, uh, it feels almost identical to the M1 Pro. Uh, this one though is a little bit cleaner and has less fingerprints. Uh, let's put the computer off to the side just for a second here while I tell you about more of my specs. Uh, let's open up the rest of the box here. Uh, so of course the M2 Pro comes with the latest M2 Pro chip, which will now come with a 10 core CPU, a 16 core GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. I am of course talking about the base model uh, as that is the one that I got. Uh, Interesting, in the manuals they show the larger 16 inch model. Uh, they didn't change that for the 14 inch, they did that last year too. Uh, do we still have black? Yes, we do. We have the black Apple stickers. Always cool to see uh, you only get that with the MacBook Pro. Um, and with that, you also get a 512 gigabyte SSD. Now, this is the only part of the computer that I upgraded as I actually went, uh, last year I went from 512 gigabytes to one terabyte. And this year I decided to jump all the way up to two terabytes. Now, upgrading the SSD uh, is quite an expensive upgrade. Uh, in fact, that brings the uh, price of the computer from uh, $1,999 up uh, to $2,599. So that upgrade will cost an additional $600 uh, or 600 pounds. Now, the reason I do this uh, is as a content creator, I edit videos every day on my MacBook and editing on the internal drive is just the fastest way to go. And in my business, anything that saves time uh, essentially also saves and generates money. So if I can edit my videos more quickly, I can get more videos out. Uh, so for that, it, this is a worthy investment. Uh, however, for most people, uh, especially if you're not a content creator, 512 gigabytes will be a fantastic place to start. Uh, and will still allow you to get uh, a lot of storage, I think, for the long run uh, on your computer as well. It's really a good place to start, much more so than, uh, say, 256 gigabytes. I'm struggling here with the cable. There we go, we got this MagSafe cable. Uh, one of the features I really like about the M1 Pro, of course, seen here as well on the M2 Pro. This here is the MagSafe end of the cable, and this, as you can see, will magnetically plug into the computer. So if I bring it over to the side here, you'll see that just snaps into place and will also automatically come out if say uh, your kid or your pet trips, uh, trips on the cable without dragging your entire computer off the table. Uh, really glad to see MagSafe. Uh, I also like the LED indicator so you can see your power status uh, as this will be green when it is fully charged and orange when it is charging. Now a small difference uh, that we get this year with the M2 Pro is that the MagSafe cable is now color matched. So if you do get the space gray model, you will get a space gray cable. Uh, small thing, but still nice to see. Uh, not sure why Apple didn't do that on the previous one. And then here we have the same, uh, what looks like a 67 watt. Yes, so here we have the same uh, 67 watt charger uh, and then the USB-C port on the side here. Uh, I would say this charges the computer reasonably fast, but then it's still not that big uh, and quite easy to fit in a backpack and take with you on the go. All right, so with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the M2 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro itself. So here we go, guys, we get this beautiful, 
boxy uh, squared off design. Now I've talked more in length on my M1 Pro review uh, about why I like this design so much and you're certainly going to hear me mention it again in my upcoming review of the M2 Pro uh, but this design is just fantastic uh, as it is not only more durable uh, in the hand it is also a little bit thicker and that will allow for more ports so as you can see we do have MagSafe uh, two USB-C uh, Thunderbolt ports, high impedance headphone ports, great for headphones that uh, require more power, for example, uh, professional open back uh, headphones, things of that nature. Uh, we have a full-size HDMI port. Now, the difference between the uh, M1 Pro uh, MacBook Pro and the M2 Pro is that the, USB, uh, the HDMI port on the new model is now HDMI 2.1, and this means it will now support uh, 8K displays. Now, I don't have an 8K display. I don't think I'll be getting one anytime soon, uh, but this is a form of future proofing, so I always appreciate to see it. Uh, and then we also have a third USB-C port and then the SD card slot, uh, something as a content creator I use every day. And then here on the bottom, uh, we have that nice embossed MacBook Pro logo. Uh, I think this is a really nice touch. It kind of helps set the computer apart uh, from the other models in the lineup. And we get those big four rubber feet intakes for the fans as well. Uh, I really like how silently these computers run, never really getting hot uh, and certainly never getting loud. So what we can go ahead and do here, open up the computer and there we go. It comes to life. Go ahead and remove the peel here from the display. There we go, all right. Always exciting opening a new Apple product. Here we go guys, hello on the display. We get this beautiful uh, ProMotion XDR display. So we get those nice rounded corners, super bright. Uh, and it is also 120 Hertz, which means it's gonna be super smooth with any motion uh, on the display. Uh, this I think really is the best display I've ever used in any laptop. Uh, and that's perfect for video editing, photo editing, and of course, consuming content as well. But as you can hear, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, features that I'm mentioning uh, with regards to the M2 Pro are also things that you already found in last year's M1 Pro, as these computers on the outside, well, they look pretty much identical. Uh, I'm gonna do a more thorough comparison video, uh, but just having them side by side here, you can see that the keyboards are identical, speakers are identical, trackpads, even the displays are identical. The only differences really are, of course, the new M2 Pro chip, uh, which you now get in the, well, M2 Pro Mac, and Apple says, this is going to give you around a 20% improvement uh, in overall performance. Now, uh, this is not an insignificant amount, don't get me wrong, uh, but it is, of course, nothing like the monumental leap uh, that we saw comparing the M1 Pro uh, compared to its previous uh, Intel-powered Mac. So the difference between the M1 Pro and M2 Pro is much smaller, and that's understandably so, uh, but I'm very curious to, to quantify that for you uh, and run some real-world tests, whether it be with Final Cut, uh, Lightroom, even some gaming, uh, to see what kind of real world differences uh, the M2 has over the M1. Now, another difference uh, between the M1 Pro and the M2 Pro is that the M2 Pro is now gonna give you one additional hour of battery life, uh, going from 17 hours average to 18 hours. Now, this is of course, according to Apple. Uh, in my experience, the battery life on the M1 Pro has been absolutely great, easily lasting me all day uh, with mixed usage from content consumption to even content creation. Uh, so if there's even better battery life on the M2 Pro, uh, that is only great. Yes, okay, Siri is disrupting my video. I think they want, Siri wants to take over. Um, another cool feature that we do get with the M2 Pro is support for Wi-Fi 6E. Now, there won't be many uh, Wi-Fi 6 routers out right now, but this is good for future proofing as these are computers that will easily last for four, five, even six years. And it's just good to know that you are prepared uh, with, the, with being able to uh, support the latest Wi-Fi standards and thus get the best speeds with this Mac. And then, like I mentioned earlier, the HDMI port is upgraded on the uh, M2 Pro to HDMI 2.1, allowing you to support even faster uh, uh, refresh rates and of course, higher resolution displays. Uh, and then in terms of the specs, you can spec this thing uh, quite high. Uh, you can go up to eight terabytes of storage and 96 gigabytes of RAM, uh, but this won't just cost you an arm and a leg. It's gonna cost you both arms and both legs, I'm afraid. So I'm really excited uh, to start testing the M2 Pro MacBook Pro, the 14 inch Mac here, uh, and comparing it of course to the M1 Pro and seeing what the real world differences are in terms of the performance. So I will have a very detailed uh, comparison video coming very soon, uh, ultimately to answer whether it is worth spending the extra money and getting the M2 Pro or saving a bit of cash and getting the M1 Pro instead. Now, if you've seen my recent long-term review of the M1 Pro, uh, you'll know that my gut feeling uh, is that for most people, 
it'll be worth getting the M1 Pro as these computers share a lot of the best features, again, in terms of the design, uh, the display and whatnot. Uh, but for those that do want that extra power, I'm curious to see uh, how much extra power the M2 will bring. So anyway guys, I'm gonna start using uh, and testing the new M2 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro and I'll be testing and I'll be sharing all of my detailed thoughts in my next videos. Let me know if you have any questions about the M2 Pro or if there's any particular parts uh, or points that you'd like me to cover in my upcoming videos, uh, including my review and comparison video. As always guys, I will leave the purchase links down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care.